This conference will now be recorded. Allah subhanallah. Thank you for a beautiful zikr. Alhamdulillah, with Mullah's mercy, I feel that now there are more friends and we have less time. Uh, more friends are hoping and volunteering to do zikr and we have less time. So inshallah, with your prayers, we need to have more zikr mafil where all of you can participate and do your zikr. Shukr lillah, walhamdulillah. Let me start with some prayers. Ya Mawlai Meherban, Ya Mushri Kusha Meherban, we all have gathered here, Mawla. Because we are seekers, we want to learn this true knowledge, Mawla. Ya Mawla, Ya Mawla, help us open our heart, Mawla, open our intellect, Mawla, so we can learn this knowledge and elevate our ranks, Mawla. Ya Mawla, without knowledge, there is no recognition. And without recognition, there is no salvation. Ya Mawlai Mehrban, Ya Mawlai Mehrban. Since we have learned about our tariqa, since we have matured in our age, we have learned only one thing, to sacrifice ourselves for you, Mawla, to give khidmat to you and your jamaat, Mawla, to have your blessed didar, Mawla. Ya Mawla, now when we are walking on the path of knowledge, we are learning that all that was actually preparation to become ilmi students, students of knowledge, become mustajib, and seek your recognition, offer higher level of sacrifices, Mawla, so we can become one with you, Mawla. When we were young, Mawla, we thought that only after dying, we can become one with you. But the more we walk on this path, we are learning that you have made things easy for us, Mawla. Ya Mawla, you are giving your guidance, Mawla. Help us to understand your guidance, Mawla. Ya Mawla Meherban, through these pearls of knowledge, Mola, one by one, Mola. We are collecting all these pearls in our heart, Mola. Ya Mola Mehrban, our speed is very slow, Mola. At times, we are not very effective in using of our time, Mola. Ya Mola, through these book studies, Mola. Help us learn this knowledge so we can truly understand the deeper meaning of our religion, religion of Islam, the true religion of Allah. And that Noor Mawla has manifested in you. And we are blessed that today we are all here, smiley brothers and sisters. Ya Mawlai Mehrban, Ya Mawlai Mehrban, please keep our Iman firm till the last breath, Mawlai. Ya Mawla, let us be with you only, Mawla. Let us be on the path which becomes pleasure to you, Mawla. Ya Mawlai Mehrban, Ya Mawlai Mehrban, help us kill our carnal soul, Mawlai. Ya Mawla, help us purify our deeds, Mawla. Ya Mawla Mehrban, bless us with beautiful dreams, Mawla. Ya Mawla, teach us knowledge in our dreams, Mawla. Ya Mawla, with you everything is possible. Ya Mawla Mehrban, Ya Mawla Mehrban. We seek your mercy, Mawla. Ya Mawla, we seek your mercy, Mawla. You are Rahman and you are Rahim, Mawla. You are Shahanshah e Mumkinat, Mawla. And we are very poor, Mawla. Very poor, Mawla. You are generous Emperor, Mawla. Bless us. Hasbunallah, wa ni'mal wakil, wa ni'mal mawla, wa ni'mal nasir. 
We are truly, truly shukr guzar that we all have gathered here to continue with our book study, Book of Healing. The chapter we are studying is Illusion of Dreams. And today, we are going to start in Gujarati. थोड़ी समरी आपने जी छेला टाइम पर डिस्कस कर रही हूँ तो अमुक बात हो कि जी खाप नहीं दुनिया छे ये एक्चुअली आखी दुनिया छे इन इट्स सर आखी दुनिया छे अने एनी स्टडी नहीं बहु जरूरत छे आपने जी खाप नहीं दुनिया छे एनी स्टडी नहीं बहु जरूरत छे सुकाम अटले क्या आ एक इनाम छे आ एक माजिजो छे, आ एक गिफ्ट छे, जी आपड़ा पैगंबर आपड़ा माटे मुकी ने गया छे। पैगंबर एम कही छे, के मारा माजिजात मा थी एक माजिजो जी के खाप छे, मुँ मारा मोमिनो ना माटे मुकी ने जाऊँ छे। अने जारे पैगंबर ना माजिजात ने गणतरी करवा मा आवे, तो केवा मा आवे छे, के आ 46 नंबर उपर छे, हम आजीजो अनेक पैगंबर पोता ना मोमिनी ना माटे मुकी नहीं गया थे तो आ एक गिफ्ट छे जी पैगंबर आपला माटे मुकी नहीं गया थे अनेक आपडे इन्हीं स्टडी नो करी इन्हीं अहमियत नो समझे तेवुत ही हूँ कि कोई आपडे खजानों गिफ्ट केरो अनेक आपडे नो मोलेज न थी तो आपडे कोई ना की जारे आपने इल्म में आगर बढ़ी हैं तो आपने समझ खुले हैं ना आपने समझी हैं कि आ आखी दुनिया ची जिबरी थे आपने आ दुनिया में रही हैं ची तो दुनिया ने कितनी स्टडी करी हैं ना दुनिया में तरक्की माटे कितना कितना काम करी हैं ये भी जिबरी थे खा पोता ना अंदर एक आखी दुनिया ची आ दुनिया जी � अने रूना वचमा जी स्पेस छे जी जगिया छे त्यां आपड़ा खाब नी दुनिया छे अने जारे आपड़े इल्म हासिल करिये अने समझिये तो खबर पड़े छे कि आज ही इनाम छे ने ये मोमिनो ना माटे छे केवली ते कि खाब तो जने बधाई जोगे छे नास्तिक भी होए काफर पन होए बधाई खाब जोगे छे पर जारे पैगंबर एम कहीं चहे कि हम हमारा मोमिनों ना माटे आ हम एक तोफो एक माजी जुराखी ने जाऊं चुन इन्हों मतलब ये था इसे कि जेलों को मोमिन चहे साचा मोमिन चहे जेलों को आगर अने आगर बत्ता जाए चहे ने वो ऊंचे पुगियला जारे मोमिन हुए चहे इलों को ना सपना जी चहे ये साचा हुई चहे मिसाल ना तोर पर � कि हज़रत इब्राहिम नो सपनों साचे हो तो इन तरह समझी गया कि मारा मने मारा दिखरानी कुर्बानी करवानी चहे अने ये खाब साचे हो तो क्यों के इन अंदर हिदायती हती कि पैगंबर पोता ना दिखराने कुर्बान करे तो इने एवी खिदमत देवा मावे कि इने आखी ज़िंदगी खिदमत मार जाए अने आपने खबर चहे कि मौला ने जी खाब नहीं ताबील चहे, ये वो नो तो के फिजिकली ना मारी ना पानू चहे, पर आखी इन्हीं ज़िंदगी, इन्हें अर्पण करवानी हती, 
کہ ای جماعت نی خدمت کرے بحیثیت امام تو کیوانو مقصد ہی چھے کہ جیارے آپ نے خواب نی سٹیڈی کری ریا چھے تنو مطلب ہی چھے کہ جیارے جی مومنین پوتے محنتی اوچیا چڑے تو الوکو نو جی خواب ہوئی چھے نہیں ساتھ چاہو چھے بدہ نا خواب ساتھ چاہنے تھی ہوتا خواب تو بدہ جو چھے پر مومنین نا خواب نی واد تھری چھے یا کہ الوکو نا جی خواب ہوئی چھے ای نورانی خواب ہوئی چھے हम आ के रीते कि आप क्या पैगंबर बात कर क्या मोमिनी बात कर तो जय आप समझिए कि सिरात अल मुस्तकीम जी एक रस्त है बधाए ई रस्ता पर चा तो अपना पैगंबर जी है अपना मैं मिसाल है आप एकदम आगे ये मिसाल पर आप चालता हो तो जी मोमिनी ए लोग मिसाल पर सिरात अल मुस्तकीम पर खूब आगे आगे क्राइटेरिया चीज समझ है तो आप बात नहीं करता कंडीशन शू आ चोपड़ी अंदर आप आग आग वाँचू तो समझू कि के मोमीन पर बना है जाए कि जे लोग भी आहफिल में आए थे चाहना ये हो खूब खूब एल हासिल कर आगे जिक्र इबादत इसम आजम ने इबादत बड़ी इबादत कर आगे एक इम्पोर्टंट चीज है कि केव रीते एलम गिना समझ ख्वाब में देखा सारा सारी बातों ख्वाब में समझा कि ख्वाब की दुनिया है बात की दुनिया है इमाम जी है बात की बादशाह है जाहिर भी है बातन पर बातिन पर राइट जाहिर तू ही बातिन तू ही तो बातिन नो भी बादशाह तो खाब न अंदर ई बातिन न अंदर आने अपने एम गिना समझ दई सके एना कोई लिमिटेशन नहीं जी मोमिनी जय खूब जिक्र इबादत करता हो मेहनत करता हो खाब जी है ई साचा हो हकीकत खाब समझी जाए जी फिजिकली दुनिया ना अंदर मुश्किल हो तो खाब ना अंदर एक अजीब व गरीब दुनिया है जेनी अगर आप स्टडी करे एम गिना में रही ने तो अपने ने वारे समझ आने आपने जी रूहानियत जी किताब है रूहानियत जी है ई जीव थी एक किताब है जी पोते मेहनत कर आगे तो रूहानी किताब है जीवत थी जाए बोलवा मैं खाब न अंदर एने बढ़ी चीज नज आपे जो खुदा नींदर जी बना एटले बना कि एक मणस सूत रहे आराम करे ठीक है कि बदन ने आराम जरूरत है एक हिसाब कर आप कि आप पीर आप समझा गया कि दमोदम जिक्र करना अगर अपना पास चौबीस कलाक है कोई कोई उम्र साइठ सीतेर एसी ने चलो सौ वर्ष हो तो सौ वर्ष उम्र अगर छ कलाक एवरी नाइट सूए थे तो उम्र ना के बढ़ो हिस्सो सूई ने काटी ना क्यों? तो ये बात समझ नहीं आती कि जिंदगी जी आप दम दीधेला है जिक्र मे दीधेला है तो आटलू बधु आराम डेफिनेटली पगथिया पगथिया थे तो आप समरी आज गुजराती में करी थोड़ी आप समझे इंशाला अपने चोपड़ी मैं वाँची जी Yeah, Lima Dutt. Uh, we are reading the book of healing, uh, chapter illusion of dream, uh, and we are starting from point number ten, page sixty-six. Point number ten: the dreams of a righteous Muslim can be good or luminous, and those of a negligent one, bad or dark, and those of the one who is in between. can be of both kinds therefore rising above personal prejudice 
evaluate your own dreams critically and improve your state by curing the inner diseases. How great is the favor of God, the blessed, the great, to the Muslim that he has created a living book with pictures and symbols in the state of dream, which is always in a whale and makes everyone aware of his sickness and weakness. And unless someone divulges his dream, nobody else can know whether his dream are good or bad. It is a Quranic law that general reformative exhortation should be made in a collective way so that it may serve as a whale and each person may understand his sickness in his own heart of hearts. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. So in this point, we what we are reading, that in the dream there are symbols and pictures. And everyone, they know about their own dreams until unless they tell it to somebody, then the other person will come to know about it. If they don't mention it to anybody, nobody will know about it. However, what we are learning here, that for a good Muslim, righteous Muslim, Imani Momin, dreams are Nurani. And for those who are ignorant, who are living worldly life who are behaving like animals thinking this world is reality their dreams are bad or dark and sometimes there are those whose dreams are in between as well now the question would be here why in between remember Dawat is given to everybody in humanity. Dawat is given to everybody in humanity because all the humans, all human beings are actually from one single soul. So Dawat is given to everybody. But if you want to clearly understand in simplified manner, there's a clear cut distinction that those who are not Mominin meaning whoever they are, smiley or not smiley, if they are living their lives at a very worldly level, thinking this world is reality, they may also dream, but their dreams may be bad or dark. Versus those momini, righteous momini, imani momini, their dreams are good and nurani. For Momin and Salik to continue to have good dreams, Nurani dreams, learn from dreams, get glad, good glad tidings in the dreams, what we need to do? We have to evaluate ourselves. And we all know how important Taqwa is. We have studied in this book that Taqwa is the crucial uh, behavior which we need to have as Ismailis because Imams, Farmans are full of ethics of Islam and ethics of Islam is nothing but Taqwa. So if we do not have Taqwa then our status would be same as those who are negligent. One level is seeking knowledge, having knowledge but without the Amr, without working on it it does not serve any purpose. It is truly the Ramat of Imam that the world of dreams, in our dreams we see different symbols or pictures and that in reality is a communication of our soul to us. Communication of our soul to us. Within our dreams, or within our soul, we do know that there are angels who are writing about every deeds, every thought, everything what we are doing. Dreams is in between that world of physical, corporeality and spirituality. And within that middle part, 
dreams are the means of communication to us to make us realize where do we stand in our spirituality. Therefore, uh, it is Quranic law. What is the law of Quran? That Quran always talks about as if it's talking to everybody. There is a general communication to humanity. And whenever we are in these classes, we refrain from speaking about personal things or personal experiences because this is a general class. So we do follow the rule of Quran that when we talk about these things, we talk about general things or we talk about the examples which are mentioned in Quran. Why? Because it is important to keep the weight. It is important to keep the weight. For example, if someone talks about their dream and that dream is not bad dream, they will not feel good about it in front of everybody. And that is not the objective here. The objective is to encourage everybody to be motivated and to walk on this path. And our soul is so powerful that if we slacked today for some reason, we were faced with stress or whatever happened and we slacked and we forgot to stay in remembrance or we sin, that night, same night, accounts will be done and the dreams will be shown. Those who have knowledge and those who walk on this path, they will be able to understand their dreams. Why? Because in dreams, there are pictures and symbols. And one, once we have learned how to uh, understand these allegories based on the knowledge from Quran, it becomes very easy. And the next chapter actually will help us understand, uh, next uh, paragraph will also help us understand that how it will uh, make us very knowledgeable to be able to assess our own dreams. So, I am going to say that the people who are living in the world are living in the world. They 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 are living in the world. આપણો રૂ છે બરાબર એ ચેકઅપ કરીને આપણું કે કેટલા ગુના કર્યા છે એ તરત ખાપના અંદર આવે તો જ્યારે એ ખાપના અંદર આવે તો આપણે ખબર પડી જાય કે આપણે કેટલા સારા ને નરસા છે એમાં કોઈ શકની વાત નથી કેમ કે એવરી ડે નો હિસાબ કિતાબ થઈ જાય છે કેમ કે ખુદા જે છે ને કુરાનમાં એક વર્ડ છે સરી ઉલ હિસાબ સ્વિફ્ટ ઇન અકાઉન્ટ કોઈ માણસ જ્યારે બહુ સારો જિક્ર કરે બહુ પોતાના અમાલ ની પાકીજગી રાખી અને સારા કામ કરે તો એ રાતના સૂવે તો તરત જ એને ઇનામ દેવામાં આવે કેમ કે ખુદા વાત નથી જોતો કે એસી વર્ષના બાદ તમારે મરો તો તરત તમારું ઇનામ તમને દેવામાં આવશે આ તો સારું નથી કેમ કે તરત જ જ્યારે કોઈ માણસ દુનિયામાં કામ કરે તેનો પગાર ન મળે તો કેવી રીતે મજા આવશે કામ કરવામાં દિલ જ નહીં થશે પગાર મળે તો એક મોટિવેશન આવે કે મને હું એ મહેનત કરી મને પગાર મળ્યો એટલે હું વધારે સારી રીતે કામ કરું એક્ઝેક્ટલી સેમ પ્રિન્સિપલ રૂહાનિયતના અંદર પણ છે તો જ્યારે આપણે સારા કામ કરીએ સારી ઇબાદત કરીએ અને સાચાઈથી બહુ ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ છે કે આપણા અંદર જે વિચાર છે એ પણ પાક હોવા જોઈએ જ્યારે આપણા અંદર સાચાઈ છે તકવો છે તો તરત જ ઇનામ દેવામાં આવે છે અને એને જ ખુદા કહે છે સરી ઉલ હિસાબ સ્વિફ્ટ ઇન અકાઉન્ટ એક રાતની બીજી રાત નહીં થશે આપણે તરત જ ઇનામ દેવામાં આવશે અને જે મોમની આ ચીજની સમજ રાખે છે એ લોકોને જ્યારે સારા ખાબ જોવામાં આવે ને એ લોકો સમજે તો બહુ એ લોકોને ખુશી થાય ખુશી થાય તો એ લોકો વધારે પોતે વધારે મહેનત કરે તો ખુદાના ઘરના અંદર ક્યારે બી એવું નથી કે સારા કામ કર્યા તેનો હિસાબ કિતાબ પછી વર્ષો બાદ થશે એમ નથી તરત જ એ જ રાતે આપણે બધું રિપોર્ટ કાર્ડ આપણું મળી જાય તો દુનિયાના અંદર જ્યારે આપણે સારા કામ કરીએ તો એના ઇનામ આપણે ખાબના અંદર એ જ રાતે મળી જાય અને ખ્વાબના અંદર આપણે પિક્ચર દેખાડવામાં આવે સિમ્બલ્સ દેખાડવામાં આવે કોઈ શેપ હોય કે કોઈ પિક્ચર હોય એવી ચીજો દેખાડવા આવે કે એના માયનાના અંદર આપણને સમજ દેવામાં આવે અને એ ચીજ આપણે હમણાં ડિસ્કસ કરશું પણ એના મુકાબલામાં આપણે એ બી સમજવાનું છે કે જે લોકોના ખાબ સારા નથી એ લોકો જ્યાં સુધી પોતે પોતાના ખાબ નથી બોલતા ત્યાં સુધી કોઈને ખબર નથી પડતી કે તમારા ખાબ કેવા છે પણ જ્યારે આપણે જનરલ ક્લાસમાં બેઠેલા હોઈએ અને કોઈને એવું ખરાબ હોય ખાબ એવું આવ્યું હોય ને લાગતું હોય ખરાબ છે 
तो आप जनरली बात करे जनरल शिखाम दी के आ कुरान ना एक कानून है कि हमेशा जनरल बात करवा कोई ने भी आप मन दुख नहीं करने पड़दो राखवा चाली खुदा बधाई शिखाम दे बधाई ने गुस्सो पर करे मकसद ये खबर पड़ी जाए तो पीछे भेदभाव नहीं करने कोई ढोंग नहीं करने आमाल संभा आगे के ईमान कोई चीज पर छुपेली नहीं तो पी आप आगे ह्यूमन इंटेलेक्ट इज एस्टोनिस्ड बाय मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ द वंडर्स एंड मार्वल्स ऑफ नॉलेज ऑफ द वाइस कुरान थस अमंग द मेनी अदर साइंसिस इन द कुरान देर इज ऑल्सो द साइंस ऑफ द इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ ड्रीम्स फॉर इंस्टन्स to be dressed in nice and clean clothes shows taqwa chapter 7 ayat 26 whereas to wear dirty or tattered clothes or to be naked shows the absence of taqwa surah 7 ayat 27 to see pollution alludes to idolatry surah 22 ayat 30 to see the stars the moon and the sun shows advancing towards the destination of tawhid surah 6 ayat 76 to 79 to see a garden is a sign of knowledge and spiritual progress ayat 27 sorry surah 27 ayat 60 and to see precious stones or coins is an allusion to the precious pearls of knowledge and wisdom surah 15 ayat 21 and surah 18 ayat 19 subhanallah subhanallah so there are very many references but the meaning the essence of those references are actually mentioned in the verses however i would encourage all friends to go back and study those verses um because it will give you happiness and the learning which we are learning here will remain with you when you open up your own quran highlight and read the translation it will be a joy for you now in this paragraph we are learning that surely the human intellect akle garizi the needy intellect it is poor intellect it is incomplete intellect it is truly astonishing when we study the quran with its meaning with its tawili meaning with its interpretation we are not talking about translations we are talking about the tawil given in the quranic verses if we were to truly study and become the students of quran and learn the true knowledge tawili knowledge from teachers who know the tawil when we do that we will be experiencing joy which we have never experienced in this physical world nothing in this world can make anyone as happy as you experience when you learn about these marvels and wonders which are given in this knowledge you know when we think of physical body and when we taste very good food you no know, good very extremely good food we praise it so much we tell it to everybody because the taste buds had experienced the joy which is so good and we want to share it with anybody that is the lowest joy a human can experience after that after the physical pleasures there is a spiritual pleasure and on top of that 
there are intellectual pleasures and that's what i'm talking about here that if you are seekers of higher level of pleasures they are hidden in the tawil of quran so definitely those who will taste this food they will be in a different world mola says eva momin ruhani masti mahuchi ruhani masti it's a different kind of ecstasy you experience definitely there is science to interpretation of quran there is science to interpretation and the, that science can actually be learned when we are learning the interpretation of quran and there are different quranic verses which are mentioned in the first verse chapter 7 verse 26 it talks about nice and clean clothes i think in context of hazrat adam alaihi salam that nice and clean clothes were mentioned in that verse whenever in our dreams if we see good clothes um, somebody giving it to us or we are wearing it any indication of good clothes that shows that we are dressing our soul with taqwa we may wear physically good clothes and look pretty but how about clothing our soul with pretty clothes and those clothes are taqwa purity of deeds now in opposed to that if somebody sees dirty clothes meaning there is no purity those who are negligent those who do not uh, walk on the path or mind you if you are a seeker and you are walking on the path and suddenly some day something happens and you did wrong things for whatever reasons immediately that night you will be given the result, result if you have gotten to that level where you are someone who is doing consistent zikr and very in tune with your soul immediately same night you will see yourself or around yourself dirt dirty clothes meaning taqwa is gone whatever you did all the good deeds purifying of your deeds it's gone then the next example which is given to us is seeing pollution pollution dirt all what it means that we are moving away from our imam to be loyal and to be faithful to imam is not an easy task if we are not understanding intellectually how to be loyal to imam how to be faithful to be imam how to be farman bardar to imam immediately the next step is that we become idolaters and we may not realize that how many times it happens when we do not have knowledge only with knowledge we can identify how we are sinning and how uh, we are leaving imam i remember one of the farman of imam sultan muhammad shaif i'm not wrong it is a betul khayal farman mola says and you know the allegory such a beautiful allegory imam says that if there is one town or one country you cannot have two kings or two governors in one town you just cannot you will have only one governor one governor will rule and that's how the town will live happily in that allegory imam is actually explaining us that this is our town this is the universe this is the world or country whatever example you want to take and it cannot be that the intellect says do this but the carnal soul says do that and one time you follow this and other time you follow that it cannot be it cannot be now tell me how difficult it is when we are walking on the path to stay very consistent very disciplined aware and sharp to be not faulting and falling down to become the slaves of carnal soul and if we continue to do here and there here and there immediately we leave imam we leave loyalty to imam and become loyal to shaitan that easy that quickly it happens immediately so it is upon us to learn knowledge and identify how we are sinning and remember it is very individual journey 
knowledge. We are talking about general class, general concepts. But everybody has to do their own work to take it to their heart, assess themselves to find out where do we stand. Then there is an example of stars, moon, and sun. And this is the same Quranic verse which we studied in context of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. And interestingly, in that example, we read also that he, when he sees stars, he says, I am ill. He says, I am ill. How come a pagamber seeing that dream says, I am ill? Meaning he had advanced to higher level. When he sees the lower level, he says, I am ill, meaning I'm falling down. Remember, it's a ladder we are climbing up. And even in the examples of Prophet, we have learned that that this is a path where, which needs consistent progressing at a higher stages, at a higher steps. But to be able to see stars, moon, and sun, what it alludes to, that we are progressing towards the destination of Tawheed, becoming one with the Imam. And then it gives example of garden, beautiful gardens, beautiful trees, and that is a sign of knowledge and progress and to see precious stones and coins. And I remember one of a friend had asked me, and my answer was, continue to walk on the path, you will learn what is the meaning of it, and I hope you are here. So today it is for you that when you see coins and stones, actually it is talking about pearls of knowledge and intellect, pearls of wisdom given to you. So that friend who had shared this, that they saw this now they know that actually because of their riyazat ibadat and progress in the knowledge they saw this gold coins in their dreams and here it is written in quran written in this book so how easy it is to learn about our own journey through study of tawil of the quran from these books so alhamdulillah I am going to say that the people who are in the world are in the world. So, they are in the world. And I am going to say that if you are in the world, you are in the world. If you are in the world, you are in the world. If you are in the world, you are in the world. If you are in the world, you are in the world. If you are in the world, you are in the world. If you are in the world, you are in the world. In a bad lama, a pre, some jijavanu, kyaprati, guna te gachi. Agar apre sitara chan ke suraj ne jovi che, kabadi uchaini, nishani uchi as uchaina symbol che, and a jara pre joi che, to apre i kushini vachi kapre agar badi riachi. And evi jite jare apre rupia paisane joi, sona sika, kani vokat sika jova mavichi, physically rupee paper and reti jova mata. सिक्का जो जो हम आवे चे अने सिक्का जरे जो हम आवे तो कुरान में नो दाखलो दिदेलो चे अने तावील जी चे नो मतलब ही चे के जी मानस चे जी जोवे चे अने इपोता ने इल्म थी इल्म इल्म ना अंदर पोता ने इल्म अने हिकमत पोता ने रू ने सिखारी दिया चे तो रू ने जरे खोराक दिदी तो रू ए तरत पोता ने खुशी खाब न तो आ अमुक मिसालू हती जी कोई मानस अगर खाब मा जोए छे तो इने आ चीजु नी समझ पड़ी जाए छे जी पॉइंट नंबर 12 इट शुड बी नोन दैट थिंग्स आर ऑफ टू काइंड्स मेंटल एंड एक्सटर्नल द थिंग व्हिच इज मेंटल डज नॉट हैव अ फिक्स्ड फॉर्म ऑफ इट्स ओन nor does it have any body, such as rancor, sleep, greed, knowledge, forbearance, anger, etc. Those which are external have a fixed form and also a body, such as snake, rabbit, duck, water, camel, dog, etc. If someone has rancor, it will come to him in the form of a snake. For the external form of rancor is snake. Similarly, the external form of sleep is rabbit. That of greed is duck or ant. That of knowledge is water. That of forbearance is camel. 
and that of anger or oppression is dog. This means that although mental things are without body or form, nonetheless the external things serve as their external forms or embodiments so that the divine law may convey human sickness and success in symbolic language in the dream of every person. 14th Jumada 2nd 1406 AH 24th February 1986 AD. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Can you imagine this article was written in 1986 and we are reading in two, 2023, 2023. Alhamdulillah, Dera Ayat, Durust Ayat. This is a very, very interesting paragraph, very interesting. In this paragraph, we are learning about two kinds in everything. One is mental, another is external. And beautifully, there are examples given. An example is actually of our thoughts or our emotions, which physically does not have any shape. But when we take up different animals or things which we see outside, having shape, having form, they are physical. So there are two kinds of everything. And another important concept, which we sh I hope we are understanding, that whatever physical things we see with shape or form, each thing has its characteristics. To be able to understand our dream and whatever we see in our dream, we have to study or find out if we don't understand our dreams, the characteristic of that object, of that symbol, of that picture. What does it mean in the physical world? Why? Remember Allah says in Quran that in the physical universe and in, within yourself, there are signs. So if we are hoping to understand the signs which we are seeing within ourselves, how are we going to understand it? By studying the signs outside. And that's why Imam says, study Allah's creation. By studying the physical world, and that's why you know we went through school, colleges, universities, so we have that knowledge. Now when we seek this knowledge, we are able to use that knowledge to understand this, to help us progress spiritually. So Alhamdulillah, having that understanding in the background, we are going to understand this paragraph, that there are two kinds in everything. One is mental, an image, an image in our mind. It's all imagination, you know, what is existing, like anger. You can't see anger. You can't see bitterness or hatred. It's all inside. The person behaves, you see the behavior, but the emotions which are inside there is no shape there's no form of it it is all inside in a for in a uh, imagination or they are emotionally felt so they are all mental they are all inside whereas external we see different things and interestingly the examples which are given is rancor which is like hate bitterness right animosity what is if we were to be meeting with people we cannot read anybody's heart that how uh, good they are in their heart about you, what emotions or thoughts they have, what negativity they have in their hearts, we cannot tell. It's all inside, we cannot see. And another example, very important, sleep. There's no form of sleep. You can see a person sleeping, but where is sleep? Show me sleep. We will not be able to show it to anybody. Similarly, greed uh, and knowledge. If somebody speaks and delivers lectures or say writes an article that then the knowledge is transmitted, is shared. But in itself, knowledge, we don't see it. If it is written in the book, we can feel or read the book. So these are very interesting um, reflection points. When we are studying our own dreams, these are very important to realize that how some things are just, you know, it, they exist in our mind. They don't have physical forms. So how do we understand? In order to understand our dreams, we will have to study the symbols and pictures we are seeing. And there are a few examples, and let's discuss that. Like seeing a snake. Somebody asked a few classes ago that what does it mean to see a snake? And we are learning in this paragraph that um, having hatred in the heart. 
having extreme bitterness and animosity in the heart is a symbol uh, to indicate that kind of emotions, you know, being present in the heart in the form of snake. Snake is also known for not sharing. Snake is also known for taking revenge. All these negativity, negative uh, uh, characteristics are of snake. Seeing snake in our dream, that is what it means. So, jare apne potana sapna andar koi saap ne jo bhi hai, to saap nu ji matlab che, e thai jai che, ke saap e ke wo janwar che, ke na andar gusso che, in andar nafrat che, in andar su ke vai, badla levani bhavna che, bo ho jena andar badla levani ne kharab in andar hoi che, ke koi saathe koi chij ne pota khazana pot bethi rai ne koi aave bhi leva te ne dasi le. अने पची क्या रे भूल नहीं ने ये बदलो ले वहाँ माटे हमेशा ही तैयार हो तो जारे कोई मानस खाब ना अंदर सांप ने जोए चे तो इन्हों मतलब इस थियो के आपना अंदर खुदा ना करे अभी बीमारी अभी के चे अने आपने अभी बीमारी नो इलाज करवाना होशी कोई ना माटे आपना अंदर नफरत के बो खार अभी गियो चे तो खुदा तो जिंदगी ना अंदर अगर आपने रिपोर्ट कार्ड मली जाए ना आपने सांप ने जो ही तो नो मतलब ये थियो कि जागी जाओ अने सफाई करो कि हम कहें यहाँ तो वो गंदगी थाई गई थी कोई ना वाटे आपने दिल ना अंदर नफरत हो भी जिनो जो ही हो भी जिनो जो ही कि हम के आपने बधाई एक रूप ही आवेगा ची ना पाचे एक रू कि पोता ना दिल ने साफ ना के अरे कोई सफाई नहीं कर से तो बच्ची सब ना माँ अभी चीजों देखा से तो ना मतलब इस चाहिए कि तुम्हें जी जिक्र करी रहा चाहिए काफी ना थी तुम्हें जी गिरिया जारी तुम्हारी चाहिए काफी ना थी तुम्हें बधारे मेहनत करवानी जरूर चाहिए तो हम मौला ने रहमत चाहिए कि साफ जो आ पर सपना ना अंदर पर इस जोआ मावे छे के दुनिया नो दुनिया नो बदलो ने दुनिया नी खराबी बदी अंदर छे। The second example is of rabbit and we very know that very well know that the rabbit is known for its sleep and then you know we always talk about rabbit and turtle. So anyone who has who sleeps a lot is an example of a rabbit and sleeping a lot is not a habit of a mom. Mommin sleeps few hours. Uh, why? Because I think in this book we have studied or we are going to study, we somewhere studied it that if you sleep more than, you know, four or five hours, actually all those souls which, uh, the exchange of the souls which happens, the tired souls leave you and the fresh souls come back to your body. And if you still continue to stay sleeping, then those fresh souls will also get tired. And when a person wakes up after sleeping long hours, they'll wake up tired because they did not wake up right in time. Compare, in comparison to that, a mom who sleeps less, they will be fresh, they will feel energetic because they will utilize those fresh souls which has come to their being by sleeping less hours. And remember, not only sleeping less hours, with the name of Imam, with Zikr as well, Otherwise, we see those who sleep less, they are known to have uh, insomnia and they need medications. But a woman intentionally sleeps less and does not fall sick. Why? Because it is done for love of Imam and with name of Imam. So there is a lot of strength in the body. And then there is example of duck. Duck is known for greed. Um, and then there is an example of water, which we very well know. It means knowledge. Camel is known for its barda shakti, sabar. Why? Camel is, uh, travels for such a long period of time and he keeps the water inside and drinks very little at a time, saves it to last the journey. It is the example of a momin that who has that forbearance with the name of Imam. Barda Shakti is there for that moment. And then there is an example of dog. Very interestingly, we do need to understand dog here because there are two examples mentioned here. Dog is known for its anger because for no reason, if you pass by a dog, it will start barking. So for no reason, dog will bark. 
Why are you barking? What is the reason I have not bothered you or nothing? Why are you barking? There are humans in this world for no reason you'll see them yelling. For no reason they'll be angry. There's no reason for it. Why? And it is an indication that there is lack of purity. There are habits which are like dog. And of course, in the dreams, dog is seen. Another example of dog is operation, meaning that if somebody is cruel, somebody is abusing you, uh, you see dog in your dream. So in this particular example, depending on that individual, that is why dreams are very, very individualized. Whatever you see, it is for you. Whatever your emotions were when you woke up, whatever is happening in your life, whatever your heart is telling is the meaning of the dream, and you are with knowledge and zikr of Imam, your understanding is correct. If you don't know, if you don't understand, if you keep seeking, keep asking, you will somehow learn the meaning of it. So it is important to understand that when we take one example, one symbol, one picture, it is not limited to one meaning. It's not concrete like that because dog is also known for its loyalty. But depending on the person who is dreaming this dream, they will know what is the condition of their soul. Those who remain angry for no reason, people around them tell them, why are you angry? Why are you always grumpy? And if there is no reason, it is their habit. And if they walk on this path and they want to improve and become a moment, they cannot remain grumpy. They got to change themselves. And change happens with the name of Ya Ali. Because Malali says, Ana Mukal Label Clue. I am the one who changes the heart. I am the changer of the heart. So definitely Imam can change the heart of a moment. Moment, that's the key word. So what we are saying that whatever imagination or mental picture we have uh, without body or form, in reality, its meaning is there in the outer world. And those who are sick, those mental images are communicated in their dreams to communicate to them that you are sick. You need to take care of yourself. You need to do Care, take care of your soul. Whereas those who are walking on the path, symbolic language will be communicated to them and it will be told to them that you are doing good. So all this is to help us understand how our dreams are. There's another important uh, concept which we have to realize that when we talk about this mental images, It doesn't have a form, but there is an understanding. The way the world is changing, the way technology is, you know, progressing. And Allama Sahib in his different books, he has also mentioned about telepathy. That eventually a time will come with scientific progress, actually, that we will not need any phones. We will be doing telepathy. And for the world, it will be through gadgets and devices. But if, for a moment in Salik, it will happen much before the technology can progress to that level. In fact, it is happening. So telepathy is to have this realization that if, say, I am uh, thinking something not good about Naz Nazarene, Nazarene being with me, in front of me, will immediately know that I am not having good thoughts about her. Or she thinking something bad about me and I immediately coming to know. Meaning, there is no need to pretend. There is no need to lie about anything. Whatever we are thinking, it is immediately communicated. This level of progress is possible for a momini. 
because mominin can sense they can have this communication in their heart immediately they do not need anybody to inform them they do not need any phone they will come to know and it is coming it is going to happen technological wise too because technology is an example what is already existing in the spiritual world but for the worldly people this technology is going to be progressed and for momini these will this will be examples that how it is happening in a spiritual world why am i bringing this up because we are talking about this mental images things which do not have form our thoughts do not have form but it affects us physically spiritually intellectually when we are thinking bad about somebody when we do not have good thoughts about anybody it takes away our good earning it takes away all our rewards which we have earned by working hard on zikr or knowledge or ibadat that is why it is so important to realize that our inner being momin's inner being is like a mirror momin's inner being is like a mirror in front of that mirror if there is a bad picture a bad thought reflection is there immediately the mirror will show that i hope through this example everyone is understanding that how open we are actually you know we may pretend we may hide we may lie but we are not able to hide anything from him there is nothing hidden from him and if we are truly desiring to become one with him we are investing our time we are doing what is must and we are also trying to do nawafil ibadat meaning additional ibadat this is right now is additional ibadat it is not must this is additional ibadat if we are doing that then we need to remember that our soul is very innocent it is truly masoom our bad deeds not having taqwa we are truly very cruel we don't have to go find a zalim person a cruel person it is me it is us that when we sin we are being very very harsh very very uh, bad to our own soul and that is why we keep listening to this saying of prophet muhammad man arfa nafsihi faqad arfa rabbi imagine if the mirror of our heart is so clean so pure who will we see our imam that is why we have to understand this knowledge to realize that who are we fooling others others will not be there at the day of judgment they will not be there it is about us individuals and where we are the path of becoming momin progressing on that path or constantly the way imam sultan amar shah says that if you walk further two steps and go backward two steps you are not progressing i'm going to end here shukran lillah walhamdulillah ji subhanallah subhanallah niam <clears throat> sabha this was beautiful to understand that how one can on general level also analyze their own dreams and understand their own souls x-ray just by understanding that what it could be and you know this is a very much a uh, big learning opportunity for us to wake up with those dreams and make right you know so this was this was very good and um Naila Sab actually had one of the farman quoted here I'm just going to read Tamara upar karjo che ke tame paak aur saaf thao so imam is also referring for the deeds so very very beautiful uh, friends if you have any questions any comments you can unmute and come forward or you can post it in the chat ji hello Go ahead, Amina Saba. Yeah, Lima Dattiya Mat Saba, beautiful. I just have a 
a thought is conscious part of this dream world showing our mirror beautiful question amina so we have conscious mind which is when we are awake we are conscious of what we are doing and what we are thinking right but then we have subconscious mind as well which is being affected all whatever you say conscious or subconscious all that which we are doing thoughts actions everything is being recorded and everything is displayed through our soul in our dreams so regardless of you say subconscious mind or conscious deeds or actions or thoughts every data every thought is actually recorded I, I believe maybe every morning when we wake up we have to pray to Mola to help us to improve to get closer and make the mirror of our hearts as pure so that he may come and reside in it inshallah uh -huh. I mean, subhanAllah, subhanAllah. Yeah, Sahiba, there is a question. Um, as you mentioned, every day is Hisab Kitab, and every day we get the results. How will we have collection of good deeds so we have some savings for rainy days? Like when we have hard heart or when we are not having a good day for the soul? Very interesting. Um... you are applying this um, concept of you know saving account and um, very interesting that we have you know physical worldly terms that we have saving and we use it in a rainy day when we talk of spirituality it is such a delicate path you know imam sultan mamasha says talwarni dharna jimshi like it's it's the uh, uh, like a sword you're walking on a sword how can you walk you cannot if you if you make a mistake you will bleed you'll have cut you cannot walk further so in reality you know we do i personally also give example of having this saving account and you know saving our you know good deeds but if we do a bad deed we lose everything actually we lose everything but the difference is Please understand there's a very delicate uh, concept here say someone who is a mormon and they committed the sin the difference between a ordinary person ignorant person when they commit a sin they may not even realize it and they continue to go further one lie they'll make say more lies to hide their first lie and that will continue to go on but for a mormon if they have good saving account and something some something happened and somehow they really sin that moment will sit down in giriyal's eye they will feel so ashamed they will regret it they will do more zikr they will do more riyazat they will punish themselves because they came into the trap of carnal soul now when that happens the earning amount the profit is multiplied times so at the end of that zikr giriyazari when they feel that really they have really really washed away all those sins whatever is in the bank account actually now they have multiplied times more in that account i wonder if it makes sense to you but this is what happens to a momina sali Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Yes, definitely it makes sense, and um, you have explained it very well. I think in uh, when you explained gunas in other lectures. So yes, it definitely makes beautiful sense. Um, any other friends? If you have questions, um, you can post it in the chat, or you can come forward. So Namin Sahiba, a friend has texted me a question. I'm going to read. This friend says, "How can one be sleeping?" and also remember all that one dreams 
I think we've been talking about it that dreams, the world of dreams is actually a world and one has to walk into that world. For one to be able to go in that world, one has to meet some conditions and those are more zikr, more ibadat, eating less. So the sleep is not the sleep of a rabbit, but sleep of a, you know, light sleeper. They are able to remember their dreams and they see their dreams. Yes, mominin actually sleep, their body do, gets rest. In fact, they are doing zikr in their sleep. It is going on and they can also remember their dreams. Sometimes one does remember, but most of the times I think one, so to speak, does not remember everything. And the dreams are not a complete story as such. And therefore, one may be guessing. Uh, it is probable, it is probable, but when I say a moment is salik, uh, their dreams are very complete, sometimes short dreams, sometimes long dreams, dreams within dreams, and they remember everything. But when we are reaching to that level, these are steps which we are talking about that sometimes they may remember, sometimes they don't remember, and sometimes they are so uh, uh, different parts or pieces not making any sense you know chaotic dreams and we read about it in the book actually so that is also a possibility and that chaos which we see in our dreams reflects our physical personal life that this is how we are living our life in physical world there's chaos our thoughts are not calm and that calmness comes through zikro ibadat so if there's a chaos in the dream, it's a reflection of our physical life. Then friend says, many times I do not dream. So is it that God is not talking to me? Again, it is not anything to do with God. His nur, the spark is in every one of us. Each one of human beings, it is with them, right? But those who will protect that spark, make it a fire, keep it burning. They are the ones who will be able to hear that communication. Allah is Rahman and Rahim. He gives Dawah to everyone. Those who are seekers will be able to see, hear and benefit. So if they are Mominin, they do have the communication. Then um, dreams are usually short, quick with vague messages, I think. I, I think I've replied already. So this is it. I hope this helps. G. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Um, friends, if you have any questions, any comments, you can uh, come forward. Yeah, Ali Madad, Ali Madad. Ma, as you said, ke, like Mominins uh, are get, get, matlab, they get the, you know, uh, signs in the dreams or messages. But like, uh, Firon in the Hazrat Musa Paigamba's time, he was not a, you know, momin, like, but his dream was also correct, right? Okay. Very good. Yes, you're right. Remember in the ninth or 10th paragraph, we read about that there are some who are in between. There are some who are in between. And Firon was one of those. Uh, there's another example I can give you. In the story of Hazrat Yusuf salam, when he was in Egypt, the king sees this dream that seven uh, thin cows eat seven fat cows. And he constantly keep, keeps on dreaming this dream for seven nights. And he gets very worried. He says, well, there has to be a meaning. So yes, there are dreams which are seen and there are true dreams uh, also. Why? Because there is a reason. Both the dreams, if you really know the story, you will be able to get the reason. In an example of Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh or Pharaoh, when he saw that dream and he killed 70,000 male infants. It was the test for those uh, people at that time. And it was the announcement of that Qiyama, which was coming in the form of Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. And Hazrat Musa when he came, it was a miracle. 
because uh, Firon had separated all the couples, all the couples at that time, nobody can be together that there would be any pregnancy. How did uh, Hazrat Musa alayhi salam was conceived? When he was born, the mom is so scared and worried about the child, she gets this wahi to put him in the river Nile and he survives. That story in itself tells us that no matter how shaitan is powerful, the power of Imam is bigger, superior to anybody, everybody. So this is the lesson for us, the essence. There are times when the dreams are given to those who are in between or those like Pharaoh was completely you know, uh, in the category of shaitan because he was calling himself God. So his dream is actually lesson for us, teaching us that if somebody is so powerful, rich in the world, king and people are poor, he's so cruel to the uh, people who uh, brought, who uh, became believer of Hazrat Musa salam. He was very, very cruel. Despite of all that, Musa salam comes, grows up in his house, becomes pagamar and brings the religion at that time. And those who followed him, they were taken to salvation. Promised land, they all went to the promised land. That is the one story. In the story of Hazrat Yusuf salam, and those, uh, the king of that time, who uh, had seen that seven thin cows were eating away seven fat cows. And he kept on dreaming this dream, not once, twice, but seven nights seven nights and he had completely lost sleep and he was so worried that this dream is not logical something is not right and I need to know the tawil of this dream guess what Hazrat Yusuf salam is in the jail and you know Mola's Karni you know we see miracles that one person who was in the jail uh, in the prison with Hazrat Yusuf salam is the cook in the house of uh, this King. And he says, I know a person who truly knows, who definitely can help you, but he is in prison. And this is after all his um, astrologists and all those, you know, uh, people who were learned in his court had failed to satisfy the king by giving him the interpretation of the dream. And he says, anybody, everybody, I would like to find out. And when they call as Yusuf alayhi salam, and when Yusuf alayhi salam is uh, telling them the the tawil of the dream and you know the story goes on and he protects not only the king's kingdom but the whole Egypt and all the surrounding country by protecting the uh, wheat at that time. The dream was about drought coming in and Prophet Yusuf had the ways and means to uh, protect the whole uh, Egypt and the surrounding countries through his uh, uh, tawili knowledge. He is the one in the Quran, which is which says in Quran that he was blessed with the knowledge of tawil. So both the stories in the dreams, when we see someone else sees the correct dream, it is for the reasons which are behind. And when through knowledge, we are able to see that that dream of Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salam's time, it was for Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salam to become the governor, he becomes the treasurer in the Egypt. And then Hazrat Yaqub and his 11 brothers and his mother comes to visit him and he's sitting on the throne and they are prostrating to him. And that was the dream which he had seen in his childhood. How can that dream be fulfilled if God had not given that dream of seven cows to the king of that time in the Egypt? So everything has wisdom in it. Everything has a reason how and why it was happening. Ji Gulzar. Thank you, Mama. Shukar. Shukar Ali Allah. Thank you. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Um, inshallah. Thank you, Niyama Saba. We can end here. I think it's late for the friends too. Thank you for the wonderful class and uh, wonderful um, session with full of learning. SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah. Thank you. Thank you, friends. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Yali Madad.
يا علي مداد 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 Thank you very very thank you Yali Madad. Yali Madad Nasima Yali Madad thank you. Yali Madad. Yali Madad.